Hey guys, you with your girl Candy Jones. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you have me on Instagram, you have seen these pictures. I was requested to do this look as a tutorial, so here you guys go. I hope you like. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? So here I'm gonna use my 24 hour eye primer base from MAC Cosmetics. I'm gonna apply that and just put it all over with my hands, my fingers. And then I'm gonna use my NYX NYX, however you wanna call it, white base, it's a stick, it's a pencil. So basically you just put it on, it's very creamy, it's gonna allow your eyeshadows to pop and stick and be bright. This is also the second video to moody mondays i know it's way overdue but i have it here and there you go i'm sorry guys so what i'm gonna do is just blend out that white base blend it out blend it out make sure that there's no lines no creases or anything like that just so that everything else is nice and blended and flawless so now what you see is me also blending into my crease brown script eyeshadow from mac cosmetics that's my transitional color for almost every eye that I do. Every makeup look I do, brown script is everything. So this is the BH Party Girl Cosmetics Palette. Um, it doesn't have names under the colors, so I'm just going to show you these colors. It's like a very deep plum purple and then also a brighter purple. They're both matte colors. I'm going to mix the two and also add that on top of my brown script. Now I'm going to use Impassionate, that's also from MAC Cosmetics, it's a matte pink color, I'm going to add that on top of that purple just to give it a little more warmth and add color. You know guys, I'm all about the color, okay? So now I'm going to take my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm going to use the colors Jilted and Savage. Um, that's the two purples that's in the palette. I believe the darker purple is Jilted and the lighter purple is Savage. But I'm going to use that darker purple and put it in the inner and outer corner of my eye. And put the lighter purple in the very middle and blend those two. Um, again, this look, the pictures, is on my Instagram. So you can go follow me at Candy, Candies 2 Dope on Instagram and get details um, I know I'm going a little fast this video is sped up but the details is listed on my Instagram so I'm taking a 217 brush that's the brush that I just used and I'm blending out those edges I'm gonna add the color in and then blend out those edges again like my background yes honey twinkle yes I'm in love with my background she did that yes she did that So now what I'm going to do is use this glitter. This is from MAC Cosmetics. It's called Reflect, Reflect, Reflect Transparent Pink. I had to make sure that I said it the proper way. Reflect Transparent Pink. Um, I mixed it with a mixing medium. So again, a mixing medium is a liquid. It's water-based. It allows your pigments to um, turn very pigmented and almost like liquid liquid acrylic paint like it's almost like paint but this is just making it icy and more solid opposed to the glittery look so I just applied this on top of my lid on top of that purple and I pressed it in with my finger and also blended it out with a brush and then I'm gonna apply it again so you just keep going back and forth till you get it as pigmented as you want it now I'm going back in with that purple and I'm applying some more because of course the color started to disappear so I just wanted to apply it more and blend it out. Blend out all these colors. So I'm going back in with that plum, very deep plum. 
plum color and I'm gonna go into my crease again just adding a little more depth especially to the corner of my eye this is gonna actually help my eye be shaped basically help me shape it um, to the way I want it to look it's very rare when I wear eyeliner eyeliner kind of helps your eye shape I don't wear eyeliner because my lids are small so it's very rare you'll see me wearing eyeliner so I do like to go a little heavier sometimes with my corners of my eyes so I'm just blending that out going back and forth blending it adding color blending so now this is carbon that's a matte black from MAC cosmetics you can use any black that you have and I'm gonna use a small detailer brush and just add it right into that corner not going up not going too far in but right into the corner of my eye and of course blend 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 and now I'm gonna put something on my lips because I felt like my lips were dry you can never have dry lips dry lips is no good so now I am going back in with that black adding a little more I applied my lashes and my eyeliner off camera and I'm gonna use that reflex till again wetting it with the mixing medium and just popping it into my tear ducts so now the thing with this these glitters the transparent they have transparent teal transparent pink you can put it on top of any color any base and it will kind of like reflect that color that you have underneath it so it's kind of dope if you have the chance go check it out so now all I'm doing is just applying my primer um, it's natural radiance from MAC cosmetics and I'm applying my foundation which is match masters 7.5 from MAC cosmetics using the 196 brush this is my freaking brush when this brush came out it was all mine now I'm using the LA Pro girls concealer in fawn and I'm just gonna blend that out with my brush for some reason, I haven't got on the bandwagon with the beauty blenders. Like, I've tried it, and it just did not work for me. I don't know what I did wrong. It just wasn't right, pretty much. But I may try it, but I still use my that good old brush and blend that out. I also like to go in on my nose a little bit and just make a straight line towards the nose. I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but that also helps to me with the shape of my nose and contouring my nose. Keep your heart cause I can fuck you up or have you never thinking clearly Never thinking clearly Have you all up in your feelings? Now I'm going back in with that foundation brush and just going right on top of the color of that concealer and making sure that it's blended and blending out all the edges. Now I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark just to set my highlight. And then I will use Studio Fix Powder in NW43 as my foundation powder to set my foundation. Now, using these palettes again, I'm going back in with Jilted and Savage, and I'm just going to blend it down at the bottom. Just sweeping it across my eye at the bottom on both eyes, and then you'll also see me use Carbon, which was that black, and add it to the very end, just to get a little more depth and, of course, shape my eye. Also, my trick, everyone asks me, like, because I do a lot of under eye bright colors, everyone asks me, how does, do I get it so blended? How does it look so, like, it, 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 it bleeds into each other? I basically use my transitional color, so you will also see me go back in with that brown script underneath that purple under my eye that's going to give it, like, a sunset kind of look and make it look more soft and natural. That's what I do. And that's the carbon that I told you about. I'm just sweeping it under my eye to give it a little more shape, a little more depth. And taking that transparent pink, again wetting it and dragging it underneath my eye to blend with that purple that we just popped underneath. Baby, I can put it down, but I can't put it up. So the same thing you do at the top, you do at the bottom. 
Now this is Mac Lash Maximizer. That was like a little, little, little. This is Max Lash Maximizer. Um, I put that on twice, and then I put on my mascara. This is just gonna extend my bottom lashes, cause Honey ain't got none, and she needs to work with all that she have. <laughs> Never did I think I want you Always seen you in my So now I'm contouring with a powder This is Max Pro Long Powder and Deep Darkest I'm gonna apply that to the temples, my cheeks, and my nose I don't know why I always do this face It's like with lashes, eyeliner, my nose contour, my face just my mouth opens and my face just gets like that. I don't know why. It's funny though. <laughs> so again, I'm using that Jilted and Savage, the two purple colors from the Electric Palette as my blush. And we're going back in now with that transparent pink, wetting it as we always been. And using that as the highlight. So on the brow bone, the tip of the nose, the bridge of the nose, and the cheekbones. So yes, the highlight that you guys seen on my post is the purple glitter. Um, you have to wet it in order to get that, you know, solid payment. If you don't wet it, it'll be PC and chalky because it is glitter, so you have to wet it. And also on the Cupid's bow. I'm just using the rest of whatever's left on my concealer brush just to clean up my contour, make it a little more precise. So the lipstick that I'm using is... Well, the lip liner right now that I'm using is Current Lip Liner from NYX. And then I'm going to use a lipstick, a matte lipstick from Ruby Kisses Cosmetics, which is called, it's called Bare Nude. So, folks, everything that I use is not always MAC. Most of it is MAC, but not everything is MAC. So I will be doing a beauty, a beauty look on a budget with store-bought cosmetics. Um, from Rite Aid, you know, Dwayne Reed, also Beauty Supply Store products. This lipstick was only $2, like, and it's it's matte. Like, when I say it's matte, it's matte, and it's pigmented, so they're the bomb.com. I will definitely do a video on those for you guys. Just adding a little more, because you can never have too much highlight, okay? And my love's in vain Baby, I've been falling for you And that's pretty much it I just sprayed my face Um, I did not have Fix Plus Spray So I am trying out the LA Girl Pro, LA Pro Girls Setting Spray I'll let you guys know about that But that's pretty much it I was feeling myself, as you can see I was definitely feeling myself I was definitely jamming um, this, it was very late doing this video, so I hope you guys loved it. Just make sure that you like and subscribe. If there's anything else that you guys want me to do, please let me know um, on my Instagram or in the comment box below. But that is it, guys. Thank you for all your support. I'm going to keep going and keep bringing these videos to you. Hope you guys loved. Thanks so much. Till next time.